Hello and welcome back to the course of Mechatronics. I am Mandar Dado from SITCOE and today we are going to deal with the study of electronic signal types. So we will be going through different types of electronic signals and the outcome will be the student will be able to explain electronic signal types. So let's start with the presentation. So main points to be discussed today are what is a signal and then types of different types of signals. So signals, signals are variables that carry information. It is described as a function of one or more independent variables. Basically it is a physical quantity. It varies with some independent or dependent variables. Signal can be one dimensional or multi dimensional. Signal is a function of one or more variables that convey information on the nature of a physical phenomenon. Examples V of T, I of T, X of T, heartbeat, blood pressure, temperature, vibration. So these are all types uh, examples of a signal. Okay. The one dimensional signals are the functions depending on a single variable. Example speech signal and the multi multi-dimensional signals are the function depending on two or more variables like image classification of signals or the type different types of signals which we are going through are uh, one classification category is continuous time and discrete time signals then periodic and non-periodic signals casual and non-casual signals deterministic and uh, random signals a1 and odd signals so these are different types let's go through them one by one firstly continuous time signal and discrete time signal a continuous time signal is a function that is continuous meaning there is no breaks in the signal for all real values of t you will get a value so f of t continuous time signals okay so different quantities analog signals are continuous signals actually a discrete time signal is a signal whose value is taken at discrete measurements with a discrete time signal there will be time periods of n where you do not have a value so discrete time signals are represented using the form x of n discrete signals are approximations of continuous time signals so discrete signals are uh, digital signals are again discrete signals okay then uh, next classification periodic and non periodic signals periodic signals have a property that x of t plus t is equal to x of t for all t the smallest value of capital t that satisfies the definition is called as a period shown below are non periodic signals and periodic signals so this is the diagram where non periodic and periodic signals are shown so the upper diagram uh, diagram a shows us a periodic signal where it signal repeats after fixed time and has a simple spectrum consisting of fundamental plus harmonics so waveform is shown in diagram a which is uh, repeating after fixed time continuously it is a square wave and its spectrum is also given then the B part of figure is non periodic signal such as noise which does not repeat and has a continuous spectrum so you can see here so this will be the total time interval so this is the one time period then this is the next time period so the signal is repeating itself after time period say t so it is a periodic signal the figure b shows uh, non-periodic signal so it, it will not repeat itself after some uh, period some period like noise here the spectrum shows the noise it is uh, just a uh, continuous spectrum unlike the this one this is periodic uh, spectrum for periodic signal 
and the last one is transient condition that is in between next is casual and non casual signals uh, it is very simple to classify them a casual signal is zero for t less than zero here it is shown so for values beyond this line will be t less than zero and for that the signal is zero and non casual signals are zero for t greater than zero so for t greater than zero these are the values which are zero deterministic and random signals firstly deterministic signals behavior of these signals is predictable with respect to time there is no uncertainty with respect to its value at any time these signals can be expressed mathematically for example x of t is equal to sin 3t is a deterministic signal random signals behavior of these signals is random that is not predictable with respect to time there is an uncertainty with respect to its value at any time these signals can't be expressed mathematically for example thermal noise generated is non deterministic signal or we can say random signal so this is the figure regarding that deterministic and random signals so first uh, the signal shown in red line it is deterministic so it can be mathematically represented and we can predict its uh, mathematical expression as well as uh, repetition and random signal which is shown in blue so we, we it, it is unpredictable signal next even and odd signal one characteristic of a signal is symmetry that may be useful for signal analysis even signals are symmetric around vertical axis and odd signals are symmetric about origin even signals a signal is referred to as even if it is identical to its time reversed counterparts so we can say x of t is equal to x of minus t an odd signal a signal is odd if x of t is minus x of minus t an odd signal must be zero at t is equal to zero in other words odd signals passes through origin so this is the diagram for even and odd signals so even signal and this is for odd signal odd signal is 0 for x is equal to 0 and we can see here x of t is equal to x of minus t in this case and here x of t is equal to minus x of minus t so these two are even and odd signals so this was regarding the different types of electronic signals and their classification. Thank you.